guys! Today's video are guinea pig product mistakes that you have to watch out for when buying items for your furry friends. I'm going to go over the most important products that you need for your piggies and talk about the problems some of them have. That way you'll hopefully be able to save some money and provide a safe environment for your guinea pigs. Hiding spots Hideys are very important for your guinea pigs as they like to feel safe. In nature, many of their predators come from above, so they like to have a roof over their heads. Heidi's should ideally have two entrances, so that one guinea pig cannot be trapped in it by another guinea pig blocking the only exit. As a rule of thumb, there should be at least one Heidi per guinea pig. Be careful when buying a guinea pig Heidi and make sure that it's actually suitable for your guinea pig. Some can be too small and if you have a baby guinea pig it will definitely grow up and some may be unsafe. Pay special attention to extras such as windows in a guinea pig house as they often look cute but they're often big enough that a piggy can squeeze their head in but small enough that your piggy gets stuck. My favorite hiding spots are levels as they leave a lot of space for your guinea pigs and you don't have to worry about multiple entrances. My guinea pigs love any type of fleece item and love to snuggle on soft fabric. Not every guinea pig likes this though, so test out what your guinea pigs enjoy before buying several of one product. My guinea pigs also love any type of tunnel, especially hay or grass tunnels. However, they will pee in those and they get smelly fast and then you have to toss them. So while they're a great present, I wouldn't recommend them as part of the everyday cage setup. They're simply too expensive for buying a new one every two weeks. Hay rack. The biggest and most important thing to look for in a hay rack is that it's big enough that your guinea pigs have enough hay for a while, that your guinea pigs cannot get stuck in it and that they can't move it. Guinea pigs can use their nose to push or tip over a light hay rack. And they really like to do this when they think there's a tasty piece underneath it or they're simply not happy with the quality of the hay. But usually it still hurts even if a light hay rack falls on top of another guinea pig. So make sure that the hay rack is stable and cannot be pushed around. Also problematic are hay racks which fold in half. They're great for storage but you don't want your guinea pigs to accidentally fold it and get stuck in it. These accidents can actually be deadly. Water bottles and water bowls. Honestly, these are a hit and miss. The biggest thing to watch out for is whether you can clean it and whether they leak. I personally prefer glass bottles, but I feel like after a couple of years they all start leaking, especially if you have guinea pigs that practically eat the bottle every time they use it. Some people say that water bowls are more natural for guinea pigs as their head is in an unnatural position when they drink out of a bottle. This argument should definitely be mentioned, however, personally, I find that bowls last about a minute before a guinea pig speeds up and kicks a bean into the water. There's this tip to put the bowl on top of a lock or something, but my guinea pigs even manage to kick their beans out of their cage, so I personally find bottles to be cleaner. Whether you end up using bottles or bowls, do not put vitamin C drops in your guinea pig's water. Just save your money for this one. Carrier. When it comes to carriers, there's really no one size fits all. Some people almost never need theirs, some travel long distances, some only use it in the car for a couple of minutes. It really depends on how often and for how long you plan on using the carrier. In general, you have to make sure that it's safe in the car, that your guinea pigs feel safe and like they're in a Heidi. We have two carriers and are super happy with both. There's this blue one and the one we call the spaceship. The spaceship has the advantage that it's really big. It's a cat carrier and two to three guinea pigs fit in there. The guinea pigs really like about it that we just have to open the door and they're able to leave it on their own and we don't have to take them out. The disadvantage is that while curious guinea pigs like Gatsby and Nugget love to look out of the door, timid guinea pigs like Lumi don't like the open space. So if you pick up a new guinea pig with this carrier, we always make sure that there's a big fleece item half blocking the door. The blue carrier on the other hand is smaller. The timid guinea pigs feel more safe as they don't see as much and are more protected from movements and sounds. And with the carrier opening from above, it's easier for the vet to take out a guinea pig. 
At the same time, the guinea pigs absolutely hate the moment the carrier is opened as they don't like movements that come from above. My personal favorite is the spaceship type, but I know lots of people who prefer the blue type of carrier because their guinea pigs are more shielded from the outside. That being said, a carrier has to be safe in the car and your guinea pigs need to feel secure. That's the main thing. Do not transport your guinea pigs in one of these sling things that you put on your body. This is not safe for traveling. These were a couple of things to look out for when buying guinea pig products. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys next time!